So hello and welcome back to Gumari Coins and Banknotes and today we're looking at some banknotes of Macau. So if you don't know where Macau is, so here it is on Google Maps and as you can see it's actually, it's quite small. So to get, okay, so you've got two kilometers, so Macau is pretty much two to three kilometers uh, wide and it's about 10 to 12 kilometers long and we can see its relation with Hong Kong. So Hong Kong is over there. So this is Lantau Island. This is the mainland. We have Shenzhen. So this is China up here. So as you can see, the place is quite small. And the population is roughly about half a million. So in the past, the population will be quite a lot less. And they've issued various banknotes. So... Macau only issued coins starting in 1952 and while I haven't read anything I would assume that the coins of Hong Kong and China were the mainstay that circulated in Macau because they issued these banknotes uh, the Bataka equals 100 others which they still use they used to still use this currency uh, obviously not these banknotes and these banknotes have been used since the oh, 1880s. But the main factor is, is that these banknotes are expensive uh, because obviously the population was quite small. So the issuance of these banknotes is also quite small. Uh, and today we're just going to go through a few of them. So the smallest denomination I have is the one Avos, but obviously... Uh, Sorry, the 10 Avos, that's that one there. But obviously they did issue the one Avos banknote in 1942. But when they issued coins in 1952, uh, they just started with the five Avos. So obviously the one Avo is pretty relevant. And they tried to issue a two or that that proofs anyway. And trial specimens, but uh, none of those were circulated. And as you can see, the earliest banknote in Avo denomination is 1920 so not too sure why they issued the banknotes in 1920 i find it hard to actually find information on uh, this issue so we start with the earlier denomination so the 10 avo they first issued in i think 1920 i would assume that they would but this one here is the 1936 46 Oh, I keep making mistakes. Ah, oh, I don't really care. You can watch a video if you can't. And down below we have who is the actual issuing authority. So, Lifo, Hong Kong Printing Press. So this has got 1946. So this one is actually dated. It's got 1946 underneath. And the image on this side looks like a coastal scene with a junk ship over here. And this one's probably in fine condition, so it's pretty low. But the print run of this is, so I actually submitted all these prints uh, numbers uh, because they are available on the internet, but Numista didn't have them. So there's about 2 million of these, obviously. Someone's put in a value of $38 for very fine. So as you can see, these banknotes do get expensive. And if you look these up on the internet, Something like this is probably going to cost you a minimum of $20. So that's how expensive these banknotes are. And on the back we just have the coat of arms with uh, the denomination and the country in Portuguese and Chinese. So it's quite a nice banknote. Uh, so that's why I don't have too many of them in my collection. Okay, so the next banknote we have is the 20 hours. And as you can see, I've got two. So I got this one probably like 10, 15 years ago. And something like this is still going to cost you about $20. But we have a better version. And based on the serial numbers, you know, there's 400,000. So that's a minimum that you can see here, or 471,000. Uh, and this one is the one that's dated. Uh, well, it's un. Is it dated? No. Yeah, it's 
Printed by the Hong Kong Printing Press in 1944, so it's probably undated at the time. Hong Kong was still occupied by the Japanese, but the Japanese never occupied uh, Macau because it needed something, some place to trade in uh, the Asian region. And oh, Portugal never entered the First or Second World War. Or well, maybe it did in 1945, I don't know. Okay, and the million of these were printed. So, out of the million, so majority of them were probably uh, either damaged, withdrawn, or just destroyed by the environment. So I reckon the majority of them is probably gone. You, know, you might have like 50,000 left. Don't know. Don't know. We're probably never going to know. And on the back... We just have uh, swirly patterns. So this is an anti-counterfeit feature at the time period. Obviously these days you can reproduce this quite easily with computers. But at 1944 there were no computers. Okay, so the most common AVO denomination you're going to get. So this is actually quite thin paper and this is the 50 AVO. And once again it's printed in Hong Kong. But it's not dated and it's quite simple and this issue is printed in 1944 as well so at that time period the Japanese were going for the worst time in their war uh, endeavors so this paper is actually quite poor but on the back you can see uh, yeah it's actually what a nice yellow color and this one is one of the higher printed banknotes so uh, I said it's 1944 but they started printing 1942 one and a half million then about a million in 1943 and 12 million in 1944 so this one shouldn't be too hard to get but if you want to purchase one in this condition you're probably starting it uh, $20 I would say that's a, that's what I found and you get different letters so this is the letter F I've seen letter I uh, E so obviously uh, that's probably part of the block letter for the actual uh, banknote press okay so that's the AVO denominated currency so I've only got four, but this one obviously I've upgraded, so I don't really need one to see who actually wants it. And then we get into the Bataka banknotes. So these ones get even more expensive because uh, obviously a high denominations, you've got people that don't have as much money, these ones become a lot less in demand. But this is the 1945, and this is my favorite banknotes printed by Waterloo Sons Limited. And it has, uh, so this is a 4.6 million, and Numistar has about 6 million of them listed. But that's for all different signature types. So there are one, two, three, four, there's five different signatures. So each one would have a different number of banknotes printed. So we have uh, the coat of arms of Portugal. Uh, and I'm not too sure what the building is. I need to look that up. Uh, it would be nice if they actually put the name in the actual building. Uh, but I didn't research it for this video. Anyway, and here we have uh, just the symbol of the Bank National Ultramarino. So this just means Bank National Bank Overseas Ultramarine. So marine is the ocean. Ultra over. So over the ocean National Bank. And they still exist. So this banknote, well it does have a center fold and it's quite clean and crisp. 
uh, you'll be paying about fifty dollars for one of these so if you can get it for under fifty dollars uh, i recommend that you purchase it okay so the only other denominations i have are later issues so what we have here i have two five patakas from 1981 i have a 1968 five patakas and as you can see they've changed the color of them so hong kong issued the brown banknote series but this banknote is actually a bit smaller than the Hong Kong $5 banknote, which was a lot wider and also a lot shorter this way. So once again, there's six different signatures and the total print run for that is 1250000 So it's pretty hard to get this series, especially in this condition. And you'll probably be paying 30 or $40 for this type of banknote. So... What we have on here, we have a portrait in the oval frame, that's what it gets, and it's Bisco Carnero. So he probably would have been someone associated with Macau, who I didn't research. And here we have Portuguese Navy, so this represents the overseas provinces. And if you look at the coat of arms of you know, all the overseas provinces, they usually have waves or something to indicate the ocean. So it's overseas, and that's quite a nice banknote. There's a security thread, but I don't see any watermark on it. Okay, so then we have the 1981 issue. So these ones circulated until they issued uh, the five pack of coin in copper and nickel in 1982. So we do have a five pack of 1971 silver, but that would have been withdrawn in the 70s because silver value is pretty much stripped from every currency in the world so 1982 we had the actual five pataka coin and currently that's the coin uh that well they issue a five pataka for the actual denomination okay so 1981 so this is 125 millimeters long 65 uh top to bottom and the print run for this one is about three and a half million. So once again, there's different signatures, and here I have two of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight, oh, seven different signatures, and here I have two of them. Uh, some of them are probably going to be harder to get than others, and they actually put the Chinese temple at Bara. So it's probably an old Chinese temple, I'd say probably from the 16th century, during the Manchu, early uh, early Manchu, or late um, uh, dynasty that, that preceded that, which has slipped my memory, because, you know, you can't remember too many stuff at one time. And here we have the Grand Prix, Priya Grande. Okay, not the Grand Prix. Uh, that's a port scene. And looks like uh, that's it's got the date down there, but not too sure. Probably the 1900s or something like that. Anyway, sorry for my lack of knowledge on that topic. So the highest, or the second highest denomination, I do have a 50 taka of, you know, the current series. But we'll put that, I've put that in another video. Here we have a 1981 10 patakas. And here we have a, uh, a lighthouse. And here we have the flag of, looks like Portugal. And on the back, we have the same scene as we see on... Uh, the five pataka. So, you can see just different colour. Uh, it's a pity they didn't actually issue uh, different sceneries for the actual different denominations. So, the number printed for all signatures of this one is 11 million. So, this one's a little bit easier to get, but in this condition, you're probably still paying uh, at least 10 to 20 dollars. Some of these ones, you'd be paying probably about 20 dollars for these five pataka banknotes. So, 
I hope this helps you with your bingo collecting. Uh, let me know what you think of these. Which one's your favourite? My favourite is... Yeah, I've said it before. My favourite's this one. This is just a really cool design. And blue. Blue, red and yellow. Primary colours. Really good on banknotes. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.